Hey, I'm Daryl. How are you? That's great. I've been wedding photographer and cinematographer and just all around photographer and cinematographer. So have you ever seen a wedding film shot by a different cinematographer? It looked professional. It looked like a, it looked like a movie almost. And thought to yourself like, man, I never shoot cool stuff like this. I, I never get um, good professional video that looks this great. I felt the same way in the past as well. I still feel the same way sometimes. Today, I want to give you three tips that'll make your wedding videos more cinematic. So the first tip I have for you is stabilization. The shaky footage is sometimes okay. You know, sometimes it looks good. It creates a certain emotion. It creates a certain effect. But you don't want handheld footage all the time. Uh, invest in a good tripod, a good monopod. Uh, personally, I use the Sirui or Sirui. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a great monopod. I'm actually using it now for this video. Um, and I'll put a link in the description as well for it. But invest in a good tripod or monopod. That can make the difference and really help you get nice, stable, clean looking footage. Second, I want to talk about composition. Uh, composition is so important. And there's many, there's so many good YouTube videos on composition. And if you're a movie buff like myself, I would definitely recommend a specific YouTube video. I can't think of the name of it, but I'll put the link in the description for that as well. It's a great video. Look for opportunities to frame uh, your subject of what you're shooting, be it the wedding cake, be it a person or people talking. Uh, look for opportunities to put them within their own frame, within the frame. Uh, it may be an open window. It might be a doorway. But look for unique perspectives and unique frame, uh, unique ways to frame your subject within the frame. Uh, it definitely draws the eye uh, of the viewer. It helps to, to make you stand out as a filmmaker and it helps you to be more unique. Also along with composition, uh, perspective. Um, change your perspective a little bit. I'm, I'm, I'm really tall, I'm like 6'2", and when I first started out I would video everything from my, from my eye line. So basically every video you saw was from my point of view. A six foot guy looking down on everybody because everyone's like five foot something. So you, you're looking at the top of people's heads all day. Um, change your perspective. Uh, lower your camera, raise your camera. Here's a shot I composed looking down a hallway with fr uh, picture frames and people walking back and forth. But notice how it changes a little bit when I lower the camera. Um, it's a different perspective and it's something that a lot of people might not necessarily see in real life. So you're actually giving people a view into a perspective they don't normally see, which will make your video much more interesting to watch. Uh, you can even lower the camera camera down to surface height in line with a table or a chair and get a very get, get a really unique perspective um, on a person. That, that looks different. Because whenever you shoot people from a low angle, from, from an angle slightly lower than their eye level, it kind of makes them stand out in the frame, makes them more important, um, almost like a hero shot. So it's pretty cool. And lastly, I want to talk about focus. Focus is so important. Uh, if you don't focus your camera correctly uh, and get blurry footage, it can look very amateurish. One key to getting really sharp focus is shooting manual. Uh, use your own judgment, but autofocus is not necessary all the time. I would definitely recommend shooting manual focus. You don't want to see that autofocus jitter where it goes in and out trying to find the focus because that does not look professional. And if you do have focusing issues on the day of, uh, the problem is you can't fix that in post. Once it's out of focus, it's out of focus. Blurry footage is no good in wedding films or any films for that matter. So that's it. Um, of course, there are many more tips and many more things that go into making cinematic wedding videos. But I hope you gained something from this video. It was short uh, and, and to the point, I think. Leave a comment. Share what you thought about it. If you have other tips or something else that other people can use, please share that as well. Please subscribe if you like this video. I'll be uploading videos weekly with great content that I know you can use because I want to upload videos that I would watch myself. See you next time.